come on down south by then meet some friends of mine. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. Let's check out the South Park episode in Sheepshin. Let's do this. So then, the guy hits the ping pong ball with his dick and it goes right in the other guy's mouth. <laughs> Stan, I have a note Dumbest for you. stories. A note? Yeah, Wendy said to give you this. I'm like a mailman. Hello, sir. Postman Butters here with a special delivery for you. What's it say? We need to talk. I have never once heard those four words and had something good come after it. Not in any relationship I've ever been in. It's not like, we need to talk about how much I love you. No, it's going to be something bad, some kind of issue, something serious, or a breakup. That's usually what it is. When a chick says we need to talk, you might as well just start punching yourself in the balls, dude. Yeah, he's not wrong. It's a real disease. It's called hoarding. People who can't throw anything away, and they just keep living in deeper and deeper filth until the people around them just can't take it anymore. I've heard about that. Stan, we need to talk about your locker. That's locker. what it was? Every time I see the condition it's in, I, I just want to cry. It just keeps getting messier and messier. I think you have a problem. Are you serious? It's so full of junk, <laughs> right. it takes you forever to find anything. And lately you've been asking to keep things in my locker. It's just a locker. I remember being in elementary school having a locker, and you're busy going from class to class, so sometimes your locker will get dirty. Well, it's just a little messy. No, Stan, <laughs> it's called hoarding. And if you don't get help, I don't know how much longer I can be with you. She's crying oh, on. Then can we throw some stuff in your locker away? Yeah, all right. Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Chinstrap. I'm a hoarding specialist, Dr. and today Chinstrap. we're going to help Stan clean out his locker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen lockers that look like that. That's my pencil box. I need my pencil box. Okay, okay. That's we'll put fair. that right here on the floor. Broken toothbrush. It's good to have that because sometimes I really want to brush after lunch, and I... But it's broken. Yeah, but it works perfectly fine. And okay, it... okay. Broken toothbrush <laughs> is going right here by the pencil box. Old sandwich in a baggie filled with maggots. Ugh. Yeah. Well, that. I mean, yeah. I mean, I kind of need that. Let's let's just keep what that. What do you need a maggot sandwich for? The maggots are crawling down my hand and biting my wrist. Dan, can we throw this away? <laughs> well, I guess so, but. That's disgusting. Well, well, wait. This is all happening a little fast. Can we just slow down? No, don't take my empty bottle. G give me back my hey, sandwich. So he actually is a hoarder. Stan, as your Mr. counselor, Mackey. I'm here to help you with whatever problems you might have, okay? Now, what is the matter? Oh! Well, What's with my all friends are worried that I'm showing office. signs of... Hoarding. Hoarding? Okay, what's that? He's worse than Stan! Mr. Mackey, is there anything maybe you want to talk about? Yeah. Hey. Like, like what? Well, like, you've got an old milk carton here from a month ago that's like... Don't you touch that! That's not something to throw away. If you throw that away, I will rip you in the mouth. Okay? I will rip you in your fucking mouth. Okay? I am not used to Mr. Mackey being that direct or that crass. I don't know if you realize how serious locker hoarding is. It can lead to room hoarding, then house hoarding. In some cases, people even hoard animals, like that weird guy over on Burgess Road. That guy, Mr. Yalman, he's been hoarding animals for years now. Oh no, really? Mr. Yates, we've received some disturbing reports that you might be hoarding sheep. He's a shepherd. <laughs> it's okay, Mr. Yellman. I'm a hoarding specialist. Nothing to be ashamed of. Everyone here has the same problem, whether it's office hoarding or in the locker or even the hoarding of animals. Excuse me, but I am a sheep herder. It's pronounced hoarder, and yes, you are. <laughs> But, but I, I, I'm actually hurt. Okay. I love a good, bad South Park pun. <laughs> but I, I, I'm actually hurting sheep. Yes, you are hurting sheep by hoarding them, aren't you? It's good you realize that. Hurting, hurting. I want the three of you to relax and think about a cloud. A lone cloud. Okay. Light, cool air blowing on the cloud. That's relaxing. Float. Ah! Ah! Whoa, ah! Girl, oh my whoa. God. Sorry, I just got a weird gas bubble for a sec. <clears throat> it was not necessary. <laughs> it's 
It's the cloud of your memories, of your past, your childhood. Oh, past. we're gonna see Mr. Mackey's past? What do you see in the cloud? Billy Thompson? Oh, snap. There he is. Hey, Mackey. <laughs> oh, hi, Billy. Nice to see you. Okay. Why does Mackey look like an older man as a child? Looks like we might win. You snitched and told the principal I was smoking. Uh oh. Oh, well, uh, uh. Smoking's by. <laughs> You're gonna die, Mackie. Hold his legs. No, 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 no. Ah. Bullying exists in every era. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, Stan. What? Well, wait. What am I doing here? Shh. Be quiet. Excuse me. Where are we? In the Shh, you gotta be quiet. Billy Thompson's out there. Mr. Mackie's childhood regression dream is so vivid it actually sucked the other two patients into it. Oh boy. It is possible to enter into someone else's dreams. Send dream trackers to go into a person's subconscious like a spy seeing their dreams as they see them, perhaps even planting ideas. If one person is regressing deeply enough, the dream can actually envelop those dreaming around the first person I talked about who was dreaming. Everyone in the dream would be in danger of never coming back. Did you ever see the movie Inception? I found Inception to be so confusing. And when I left the theater, I was just like, man, I didn't like that. But I watched it again earlier this year for the first time in a really long time. And it was better than I remember it being. There were still some parts that were confusing, but it made a whole lot more sense the second time around. Yay, my bedroom. Oh, yep, wow. This is my happy place. His room is loaded. That brat making things with that. Wow. What's that making things with that brat? Work with colorful pegs that glow with light. I can take the motorcycle. Rock em, sock em, robot. Like this. Okay, now crank it back and then I'll let him go. <laughs> okay, okay. Mr. Mackey, I realize this might be fun for you, but it totally isn't for me. Hey, look what's on. It's Zoom. Come on in to listen, listen, listen. Excuse me, I really need to get back to my sheep. <laughs> I'm working on it! Right, Zoom, Z double O M, Box 350, Boston Mass 02134. Boston Mass 02134. You can hide in your house for now, Mackie! But tomorrow is the so stylish. Crystal Woods! And I'm gonna do things to you you'll never forget! You trapped our son in his counselor's subconscious, and now you're saying he could die in there? Believe me, this is the last thing I wanted to have happen. That does it. What are you doing? I'm going in. If oh, they're locked no. into his regression, <laughs> then maybe I can be too. Are you crazy? Mackie's in a very unstable state. Damn your incongruities. I'm going in after my son. It's a dream world where Mackie get can imagine himself to be anything. It's dangerous. I said get me in there. All right, you want to risk your ass? Fine. You see a cloud. It's a fluffy cloud floating, happy, happy <laughs> fluffy cloud. You reach out to it. Oh. Come on, Mackie. We're waiting for ya. Mr. Mackie, you have to wake up. I don't belong here. I need to have my own regression therapy. Everyone on the bus now. We're running late. Excuse me. I'm actually a sheep herder. <laughs> it's pronounced hoarder, young man, and if you are, you should talk to the school counselor about it. Yes, but I, I'm so... Um... He just can't catch a break. Stan! Dad? Is that you? Yes, it's me, Stan. Where are you? It's me, up here. I'm a butterfly! Did you come here to help me? I was gonna, but ooh, this is fun! Dad, you gotta Stay stop back and bring us back to Randy. reality! Butterflies have no concern for such things, Dad! I'm gonna go find me some butterfly poon! <laughs> Dad! Butterfly poon. <laughs> the father, he's gone completely off chart! Of course he has. <laughs> he should have waited for the experts to get here! Who are the experts? <laughs> Get that the dog dog DiCaprio. Random side note, I did find it interesting that Christopher Nolan used a lot of the same actors from the Batman movies in Inception. We need to move them all to the next dream level before the projections kill them. What next dream level? Alright, look. 
Right now they're all trapped in a dream. We need to go in and put them under so they can go into a dream within a dream. Why? Because in the dream within a dream we can protect them from getting to limbo. What's that? Empty scary dream space. So like a nightmare? No, like a nightmare within a nightmare. Why can't you wake up from that? You can, but someone inside the dream has to kick you awake from the nightmare. That doesn't sound very difficult. It is. Why? Ah! Doesn't sound so hard. It is. Why? Ah! We don't have time for this. Okay, fine. We don't have time for this. Okay, fine. Her husband will think we're in Hasselback's dream. Okay, wait. Who's Hasselback? I am. Wait, no. Why do we need a football player? Sometimes thoughts of my dead wife manifest themselves as trains. Sometimes my thoughts of my dead wife manifest themselves as trains. Are you all saying that you can go into a dream and take people in that dream into their own dreams? Not all the time, just this once, and maybe one other time. It's so complex and cool. Just because an idea is overly convoluted and complex doesn't make it cool. Inception is one of those movies I'm kind of torn on whether or not I thought it was good. But maybe it was good. You just don't get it because you're not smart enough. Let's move! I wasn't. <laughs> Will they be able to wake Mackie up? If they don't, it'll be the end of Europe as we know it. Why? Because. Right. Because. Today we're going to be learning all about these amazing evergreens and this fragile ecosystem. But first, we have a very special guest. It's Woodsy Owl. Oh! Oh boy, Woodsy Owl. Who's that? Give a hoot, don't pollute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give a hoot, don't pollute. But let's be honest, okay? I'll take Smokey Bear over Woodsy Owl any day of the week. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Hi, I'm Woodsy Owl, reminding you all to please pick up your trash and keep our forests clean. In the city or in the woods. Help keep America looking good. <laughs> oh, I love that song. Help keep America looking good. <laughs> So you're saying that all those people in there are somehow trapped in one person's dream? Yes, and so that's why I called the fire department. I don't know where else to turn. <laughs> well, wait, if those people got stuck in there, why wouldn't we? It's very simple. You see, when the dream experts go in, they attempt to take the subject to a dream within a dream. Like a taco within a taco? A Double Deco Taco Supreme. The Double Deco Taco. Just 79 cents. Firemen have the ability to bring ladders into other people's dreams. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. How could you take a ladder into a dream? Somebody order a pizza? No. Probably one of them in the dream. All right, I'm going in. Really? <laughs> Look, if we can get the fire department into the counselor's dream, then we can jump everyone down at least another Everybody. six degree levels. That way we'll be in the counselor's deepest level of subconscious. And it will be like a taco inside a taco within a Taco Bell that's inside a KFC within a mall that's inside your dream! That makes no sense. <laughs> Red is useless. <laughs> but they're gonna kick my butt. They're gonna kick it by hand. They're gonna kick it by hand. It's just a dream, mm. dude. You can control what happens. You can't run forever. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Mr. Mackey, go and face it. So that we can get out of here and find out why we're hoarding. But I literally heard sheep. Shut up! Okay. <laughs> okay, I can do this. Mr. Mackey must be dreaming about something extremely traumatic. All right, that does it. Get your coat. Where are we going? We need to get help from the most powerful dream infiltrator in the world. You don't mean. Who is it? Oh! <laughs> Kruger! Well, it ain't Dr. Seuss. Who knows dreams better than Freddy Krueger? That makes perfect sense. Hello, Freddy. Yes. <laughs> You're looking healthy? He's got the beard. Chin strap. What happened? You run out of stoolies to do your work? All right, look, we're in a pickle again and we need your help. Got some people trapped inside a dream. Told you a long time ago. I gave that up. This is awesome. <laughs> There's some good men stuck in there. I said I'm done with it. Everything all right, Fred? It's fine, babe. Get it's back in family? the house. Wife and kids. No thanks to you. This reminds me of that Rick and Morty episode with Scary Terry, which was really well done. Get off my back, bitch! Out there. Not in here. We need you, Fred. 
like you needed me to kill those teenagers to stop the Russians. We had a country to protect. Protect it yourselves this time. That's a cool backstory. Some of those trapped are firemen, public servants, innocent in all of this. <sighs> all right, fine. All right, Billy. I'm not gonna let you hurt me this time, okay? This time I'm gonna stand up for myself. You That's gotta right, fight Mr. Back? I don't think so. You can do it, Mr. Mackey. <clears throat> Go ahead and do your worst, Billy. I'm facing you head on, okay? All right, Mackey. Take this. Oh, oh no. <laughs> We came to rescue you from the bad guys in Mackie's dream! Well, wouldn't it be better to have Mackie face them on his own? No, as long as the source of the drama is wiped out, the counselor can wake up. So then why aren't we waking up? Oh, Unless for no the reason. bullies aren't the source of the counselor's bad memory. Hey, that's they right. Killed her for no the bullies reason. didn't even beat me up that day. I, I ran away from them. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I remember. I ran and I ran and I hid in this building here. And somebody was in there. Somebody who talked to me real nice and then... And then touch me somewhere by it. Oh no. No, Woodsy, okay? Don't Woodsy, touch my pee-pee. No. no, Woodsy, please, I'll give a hoot, okay? Woodsy out! No! I'll never litter again! I'll keep all my trash! No, please, Woodsy, no! Woodsy's a pee Help Woodsy spread the word. Never be a dirty bird. Ah! The bad memory is manifesting itself! It didn't want to be exposed! Uh -oh. Our dream bullets don't hurt it! Unstoppable! Uh -oh. no. Not the shepherd! He didn't do anything! We're all gonna go to limbo! <laughs> There's a real hoot for ya, Woodsy! Got him, Freddy! Thanks, Freddy! If what? only I could have saved the sheep herder. Well, did you find the painful source of your hoarding problems, Mr. Mackey? I sure did. Turns out he was molested by Woodsy Owl. I'd completely Damn, blocked son. it from my memory, okay? Well, now that we've uncovered Mackey's source of hoarding, we can finally move on to yours, Stan. I think I have a better idea. <laughs> Just throw the stuff away. Stan, did you find out the reason you've been hoarding? Whatever it is, I don't want to know. I'm just going to throw this crap away like I should have to begin with. But dude, there must be something in your past you're not dealing with. Don't care. After going through all that crap and seeing what happened to Mackie, I don't want any part of therapy. How do you know that wasn't your therapy? <laughs> that was a really good Mr. Mackie focused episode. Yeah, it sucks what happened to him, but the episode was still funny. It had a nice bad pun that extended through the whole show. Had some great nostalgia in it. And I love how they intentionally made things confusing. And it made the episode even funnier to me. But thank you so much for recommending this episode. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And check out another Mr. Mackey episode right here.